Hey everybody. So, in my opinion, Georgia Tech needs to get a freaking quarterback out of the transfer portal, okay? Let me start out by telling you about the quarterback situation as it stands. <clears throat> we got Jeff Sims leaving. He's been the starter for years. And while we couldn't get a full healthy season out of him, uh, he's gone now, which is a shame to me because he's finally good. Uh, you know, we watched him make terrible freshman mistakes for years, and uh, now he's leaving now that he's good. So frustrating, very, very frustrating. Don't get me started on it. Um, also was my favorite player, but don't get me started on it, okay? I mean, what the hell? I mean, what the hell? I got his freaking trading card. It's signed. It was $10, and I freaking got it, and I'm freaking stoked on Jeff Sims, and he freaking is leaving. And I defended him for so freaking long on to everyone. I was like, no, Jeff Sims is good. He's got potential. It's, 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 it's under there. And he didn't quit. He didn't quit on the team, you know. He stayed last year when everybody else transferred. He freaking played all year. And he freaking played all year, and, and – and he was our starter. But then he freaking gets hurt and, like, silent quits and then leaves now that he's good. Like, what the hell? This pisses me off, dude. We watched two years of dog shit from him. Of, like, of, like, I, I mean, of his fresh mistakes, put up with it because I knew he'd be good one day. Now he's freaking good and he's leaving. But don't get me started on that. I mean, don't even get me started on that. So. Jeff Sims is leaving. We what what is our what's our what's our what are we left with? We have Zach Pyron who came in and looked great. He came in as a backup and he, he you know he was a true freshman this year. Um, kid out of Alabama, uh, high three, low four star, and uh, he came in Alabama. Uh, he you know he was like a state champion in his state and uh, he did a great job. I mean the kid I mean the kid couldn't have a better attitude. And he is totally bought in with Brent Key. You know, he was he, he was one of the biggest like proponents of Make Key HC, and he he just he played he gave his all to the team, and he you know he was not afraid to uh, lower his shoulder and freaking take a hit, and he did that in the Miami game, and he you know he was trying to get the first down. I mean he you know he got his first start in the Virginia Tech game and led us to a comeback like awesome victory against them. Um, you know he made some freshman mistakes uh, throughout his thing, but you know he he is a true freshman, so um, he, he he's great. I really do love Zach Pyron. Um, but anyway, he lowered his shoulder in the freaking Miami game to get a couple extra yards and get the first down. Uh, and he's great when he takes off to go. It was like third and long, and he he saw the whole freaking took off, lowered his shoulder and everything, broke his clavicle. So that's two hurt quarterbacks we had this year. We were down to our third of four string. But uh, Pyron, you know, hopefully he'll be ready by next season. But even if he is, I'm not comfortable giving Zach Pyron the starting job just yet. Um, but I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, we have Zach Gibson, who <clears throat> is just – he came in and looked awful, like the worst quarterback of all time against Virginia and Florida State, but then kind of turned it around um, in the North Carolina and Georgia game. He looked pretty good in both of those games uh, because he the O-line blocked for him. And that's that's really his downfall because he can he he has a good arm and he has he can make some throws, but if the offensive line isn't blocking perfectly for him, like he he's terrible under pressure. And I, I mean, no, I love Zach Gibson, I really do, but it it is what it is. Like he'll take a freaking huge fifteen yard sack um, and not throw the ball away. Uh, you know, he's just not he he doesn't have very good pocket awareness. And it is what it is. I just, in my opinion, don't think that Zach Gibson is a starting caliber talent. Although he is a good backup, and I do appreciate what he did for us this year. And then, of course, we have Tyson Pumachan, who <clears throat> was four-string behind all of these quarterbacks. And he came from Clemson. Obviously, he was like a four-star out of high school, um, but couldn't get on the field last year uh, at Clemson. And then, again, this year couldn't get on the field um, until we were out of options, really. They would bring him in, uh, direct snap it to him, and then he would just take off as like a design quarterback run. They let him throw it once, and he threw an interception. They never let him throw it again, and uh, that is that's where it ended. Tyson is just he, – he, he can't throw. I mean, he can run a little bit, but he can't throw. 
Um, I, I Tyson should move to tight end, in my opinion. He 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 could be a good tight end, in my opinion. He's big, you know. He's tough, and I don't know. I I don't know. I don't know if quarterbacks for him. If he can't throw, I mean, that's like half the quarterback's job. So, I don't know if um. I don't know if uh, you would freaking want Tyson Fumichon as your wh- what? I filmed a video. What? I'm just looking at you, man. Freaking distracting me. Freaking distracting me. Go away. <clears throat> so, that's our quarterback situation. And as far as going into next year, if we were to, you know, assuming they're all healthy and everything, uh, Zach Pyron would be the starter of all of those. But I'm just not quite ready for Zach Pyron to be the starter. I mean, he is a freshman, and he, you know, he, he he's great, and I really do love him. He has the tools. He's got, you know, he's 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 a good quarterback, and he's a hell of a lot better than Jeff Sims was when he was a freshman. Okay, Jeff Sims when he was a freshman was really bad, and threw a ton of th- uh, interceptions and made a ton of bad decisions, and um, I just don't. Uh, I think Zach Pyron's league's better than Jeff Sims was as a freshman. I was impressed. But I, you know, listen, like I just got through saying, like I watched two years of Jeff Sims make freshman uh, rookie mistakes, and I'm just tired of that, okay? And as good as Zach Pyron played in those games <clears throat> against, uh, you know, Virginia Tech um, in Miami before he got hurt, um, you know, he was making these mistakes. So what I would like to see is for Zach Pyron to take a year to heal and develop and, uh, you know, be a good a good backup for uh, for whoever we do wind up bringing in from the portal, which is what I think we should do. I think we should bring in a quarterback from the transfer portal. Um, I would really like to see somebody who's, you know, old and has, has some experience and maybe maybe like a year left or something like that. A year or two left, uh, and create a, a good quarterback competition because you know for years now we haven't had a good quarterback competition, uh, and even this year there was no quarterback competition coming into the year. It was Jeff Sims' job, or we didn't have a quarterback, and we happened to have Zach Pyron, who was really good, but <clears throat> you know and ready to go as a true freshman. Um, but other than that, like we don't. You know, we didn't have another, we didn't have a, a quarterback competition. So I really would like to see that. And I really think, I think we could get somebody in here. There's tons that, you know, today was Transfer Portal Day or yesterday. <laughs> I'm recording this on Transfer Portal Day. And there has been a just a ton of quarterbacks enter the portal. So I was looking at some of these quarterbacks and, you know, perhaps some of these, like, Guys are too good to come to Georgia Tech. Um, but, you know, I, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, can we get one of them? Maybe. Maybe. You know, maybe these guys are too good for us. I don't know. But I was looking at them, and I was thinking, man, I sure would love to have one of these guys. Um, you got you got Brennan Armstrong in the portal. I mean, he's done great at uh, Virginia, you know. Uh, he, he's been carving our ass up for freaking years now. I mean, we can't we can't freaking beat Brennan Brent Armstrong. If you can't beat him, freaking join him, right? I'd love to bring Brennan Armstrong in. Although I'm just not so sure how how well he would do at Georgia Tech. I mean, he, he's you know I could see him going to like Mississippi State. That seems like a a good fit for him. So I don't know. He's I don't know if he would want to come to Georgia Tech. Um, but he definitely had to get out of that situation at Virginia because he regressed bad, bad under. Um, Tony Elliott in his first year there. I don't know what the hell they did, but Bronco Mendehall uh, had had him just tearing it up at freaking Virginia. So I would like to see, I would like to see, uh, I'd love to have Brandon Armstrong. That'd be great. You got Devin Leary, NC State, you know, not exactly letting the world on fire, but like I said, he kind of fits that mold of older quarterback, experienced, uh, the kind of thing I'd like to see. Because because. If we're, you know, grooming Pyron to be the next quarterback, I'd like to see, you know, an older guy come in with some experience and kind of bridge the gap, uh, bri- bridge the gap here uh, in this next year. That's kind of what I would like. So Devin Leary is a possibility. Uh, he's a good quarterback. Uh, Hudson Card from Texas. That would be a good. That would be a good quarterback. Hudson Card's pretty good. You know, got a 
tough freaking hand dealt uh, when he, you had freaking Quinn Ewers, the best freaking quarterback ever, like like five star, you know, perfect quarterback come in. He wasn't gonna win beat Q, Quinn Ewers out for the job. So uh, Hudson Card, L- listen, I'm not saying that Georgia Tech is like the caliber of teams to get all these. I'm just reading off these names. If you're freaking laughing at me, thinking like, oh, the Sea Dog thinks he can get, you know. Brennan Armstrong. Well, okay, I'm just reading off the names of these of, of some of these quarterbacks that we should be pursuing. Okay, but I mean maybe we land one of them. You know, uh, you got Graham Mertz. Uh, Graham Mertz. Look, uh, he's actually terrible. I don't think I would want Graham Mertz. He is experienced, I guess, but as far as quarterbacks that are really experienced, uh, Graham Mertz is probably the worst of them all. Uh, Drew Pine from Notre Dame. It is what it is. He's you know not exactly the most uh, the most freaking exciting. The best of these quarterbacks, in my opinion, Spencer Sanders. That dude, that would be freaking awesome if we could get Spencer Sanders. He took off from Oklahoma State and their epic collapse this year. I mean, I don't know what their problem is. What the hell is their freaking problem? They Oklahoma State fell off a clip a, a cliff out of nowhere, uh, out of absolutely nowhere this season and so he's getting out of that situation i really have no idea what gundy and the freaking gang are up to up there but you know it it, uh it (laughs) it really boggles the mind kind of what he what the hell happened like they were a top 10 team they were like undefeated and i i I don't I, i just don't understand I don't understand what the hell happened to them. So, Spencer Sanders, a great quarterback, hugely experienced, throw for a freaking million yards. I mean, he's great. So, I don't know. I don't know. Haynes King, that would be a good high, uh, I mean, a good uh, freaking grab out of the portal. Even DJ Ukulele. Even DJ Ukulele, I wouldn't mind. I know that, um, you know, the, the Ukulele, I give him hell and everything because he does suck. <laughs> Maybe I would mind DJ ukulele, but like I said, it doesn't have to be a quarterback that lights the fire, like to lights the world on fire. I mean, we're not exactly a team that lights the world on fire, so we're not exactly a lot of freaking a freaking destination right now. Uh, so a lot of the time, we got to get players that you know are maybe in the ACC already, or maybe that left Georgia and now maybe they want to come back because they couldn't make it wherever they are. We're taking some retreads. Speaking of which, Zach Calzada, um, if you know, if we got to go for some younger players, um, maybe some of these names. Zach Calzada, he's from Georgia, doesn't really get me excited, but you know, at least if we were to take some younger quarterbacks, um, we could create a a quarterback competition in the room um, with uh, Pyron there. So you got Zach Calzada, um, Tate Rodemaker from Florida State, he's transferring out. Uh, he came in and like beat Louisville and had no problem with uh, doing that. He played great. He was slinging that thing. I watched that game. It was like a Thursday night. Uh, you got Jacoby Criswell. I don't know if he'd come or not. Uh, just just listen off names, like I said, of these younger guys that are in the portal. He was a four star. He's obviously behind Drake May at UNC. Like he's not going to win that job at all. So uh, he's leaving. Nick Evers, uh, another four-star Oklahoma quarterback, lost the job to what the hell is that transfer from quarterback uh, from uh, UCF that went to Oklahoma this year. Uh, lost the job to him, so he's headed out. Luke Altmaier from Ole Miss. Uh, you know, some of these backup quarterbacks, Malik Horns- Hornsby from Arkansas, they all, you know, these are these are quarterbacks that all uh, kind of lost their starting jobs and uh, have been backups for a year or two and are taking off, so hey, who knows? Um, maybe they want to come to Georgia Tech and get a shot at a starting job here. And I think those quarterbacks would be perfect. I think of those that we listed off, I think we could get freaking one of those. I would prefer the first kind of guys that I was talking about, the kind of older guys. But you know, even if we got in here, uh, a, a younger guy, and got in here and created a quarterback competition, that would be fine with me too. But let me tell you this. We're not going to freaking get a quarterback, okay, until we get an offensive coordinator. So, Or, or maybe they commit to because uh, they want to work under Chris Winkie. 
I don't know. Chris Winkie has done a great job. You know, he's a legendary freaking Florida State uh, guy. So who knows? Maybe maybe we are able to swing some guys uh, in here uh, b- without getting an OC, but I doubt it. We need to hire an OC first. Uh, Brent Key is working diligently, but he said he wasn't in a hurry. And I don't even know if Georgia Tech intends on getting a quarterback out of the portal. That's just what I think we should do. But um, we need some depth at that position. I mean, we had decent depth this year, but, you know, I want to create. We had depth, but not a competition. You see what I'm saying? So that's kind of what I'm getting at here. Um, We need an OC first. That obviously comes first. Um, But anyway, we'll see who we can get for that and hopefully get a freaking (coughs) quarterback out of the portal. Yeah, come on. Go Jackets, baby, and I'll see you next time.